Kelly, I've been thinking. Why are we riding them? The Great Western Stage Company. They've undercut our schedule. If we don't pick up three days, Overland will lose the mail subsidy. So you and I are going to... Red Ridge! Well, that's right over the road. Catch him out! Yeah, get him! Get him. That doesn't make sense. I've been on that ridge. I know it. The top is solid rock. Well, it's not solid rock now. Well, there's no reason for it to slide. Maybe we can find a reason. Tie up the team. You and I are going to do a little mountain climbing. smell that in a long time. Rock dust and powder smoke. Powder smoke? Not the kind that comes out of a gun. Dynamite. There's your answer. Maybe your answer, but I don't get it. Someone drove a six-foot cut hole and loaded it with dynamite. When it went off, he had a man-made landslide. Who'd want to do that? Right now, I'd give a lot to know. But I'll wager 20 to 1 he works for Great Western. Kelly, look here. There's two of them. Barred shoes. These prints are pretty fresh. They were here not too long ago. Never mind when they were here. Where did they go? There's only one way for them to go, down to the stage road. Maybe I can pick up some sign down there. No, nah, never mind. We'll come across that trail sooner or later. And my hush is that it'll be sooner. Go ahead. I should have known what would happen when you went to work for Great Western. What did happen? Don't give me that. How long has it been since you were on the ridge above Watson Road? Now, why would I go up there? My job's the same as yours, Kelly, keeping these stages rolling across country. <laughs> but I was rolling a little faster. What's he got to do with it? Red Kingman. He's my assistant. He's learning the transportation business from me, just like I learned it from you. I used to run line and grade for Kelly when he put the railroad through from New York to Albany. Taught me everything I know. I didn't teach you to drill cut holes in a rock ledge and try to kill a man with a landslide. That's what just happened at our way station. Why tell me? We haven't left here all day. Have we, Red? Kelly! Kelly, come here. That horse was wearing a saddle no more than a half hour ago. So was the other one. And look here. Yeah. Dynamite. Hold it. Right there. Not unless you want to, Flip.
When he comes to, tell him that's just a sample of what's coming if he tries to stop the Overland stage lines again. Come on, let's get out of here. I forgot to tell you. Flip is my assistant. He's real handy with his fists. I taught him. Spruce Mountain. It's a cutoff that'll save us three days to Salt Lake City. Whoa! Hoo, whoa! I said keep them rolling. And I want to know how you got drunk without anything to drink. Oh, sure, there's a good road to Spruce Mountain, but that's as far as anything on wheels can go. I know, I've been there. And what else do you know? Well, from there, it's pack mules so you get over the ridge. Kelly, I scouted that cutoff for you six months ago. I tell you, it just won't work. This cutoff will save us three days on our schedule when I get it worked out. Now step it up. Not until you tell me how we're going to get over that mountain. We don't go over it. We go through it. Through. Oh. Come on. Oh, gee. Get up there. Didn't I tell you? I must have forgot. Ah, oh, now, hold on, Mr. Kelly. You put the horses away. We're going to be here a few weeks. I'm meeting an old and very dear friend here. Now, wait, wait. Tell him about Jumbo, Nell. Tell him about the time I put that tunnel through the high mountain in California. Yeah. Then give us a quick kiss and another bottle. Fancy with me, Jumbo. Now mind your manners and have a little respect for a lady. Ah, now don't be stingy with the whiskey. Give all the boys a bottle. Everybody drink up. It's on the company. All right, but this is the last round until I get some money. Maybe Overland is good for it, but I don't run no tab over three hundred dollars. Ah, three hundred dollars. Who told you to run up a three hundred dollar tab? There he is, the man I was telling you about. My old friend, Kelly, the greatest hard rock man in the world. Except me, of course. <laughs> oh, Kelly and me. We shot rock and we drove down where nobody else would try it. And we're going to do it again, right? Don't give me that, you big ape. I told you to hire a gang of miners, and I didn't tell you to fill them with rock cut. As for you, if you think Overland is going to pay a $300 tab, you're local. Oh, don't, no, no. Wait a minute, Kelly. You're talking to the woman I love now. Don't you be telling Nell she's local. I'll tell her and I'll tell you too. Well, that's an insult. <laughs> Ashamed of yourself, a great big guy like you, picking on a little bit of a runt like this here. I seen what you done. Is that your idea of good American sportsmanship? Now I like a fight just as good as the next man, but I'm going to see that it's done fair. <laughs>
Oh, you broke my jaw. I broke your jaw. Oh, it's broke. You'll not be able to fight anymore? Uh, I'll never be able to fight again. Oh, the, no, uh, Kelly, you can't do this uh, to me now. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Kelly, you're a sneaky one. You almost put me in the water. You two big apes. Poor lad, he slipped. Fun's fun, and I'm all for it. But what about my $300, and what about that tent? Kelly, me boy, take the advice of an old friend and pay her. She can hit harder than any woman I know. And just how many women do you know? Oh, dozens. If you're not careful, old gal, you're going to lose me. Huh. Who wants you? $300 and repair that tent. All right, woman, make up your tab and I'll see that you get your money. Get your gear and gang together, Jumbo. We're driving tunnel. Well, we didn't rightly finish the fight. Let's have another drink and try it again. Hey, didn't I tell you Kelly's the kind of man you'd like to work for? Never mind that. We got a tunnel to drive. And get into some dry clothes. I don't want you to freeze to death before I get a day's work out of you. All right, the fun's over. Get your gear. It's good being back with you, Kelly. You made me feel real well. <laughs> Jumbo was right. You're a lot of men. Let's have a drink, huh? No, 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 I'm afraid not. I, I don't think I can get it past my jaw. <laughs> that big ape can still hit. Never mind about him. What do you think about me? Ah! Flip, take a couple of men and put that tent back up. Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Kelly. I can understand when a man wants to be alone with his girl. If you'll uh, make me out a tab, ma'am, I'll see that you get your money. Money can wait. Besides, maybe you won't have to pay it at all. What? Well, like I said, you're a lot of man. Wait a minute. I thought Jumbo was your man. He is. But I don't want him talking about other women or thinking about him. So you're going to be real nice to me, huh? Why? On account of a jealous man is too worried to be thinking about other women. And Jumbo's going to be real jealous. You want the tunnel? Of course I do. If I tell Jumbo not to build it, he won't. And if you don't kiss me, I'm going to tell him just that. You want the tunnel? Oh, he's going to be jealous, all right. For the things I do for my job. See what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. You just handed me a bucket of trouble. You can handle it. Yeah, I can handle it. Besides, I, I need the workout. I think I'm getting a little soft. Say, I didn't know you were interested in girls, Mr. Kelly. <laughs> Jumbo, I didn't mean anything. She's my girl, and she's in love with my best friend. Don't be a fool. I can explain everything. No, no, no. You don't have to explain a thing. All right, then I won't explain. Why did you let Nell put up that saloon? Why not? I can't drive a tunnel without one. I told you to set up a tent camp, not a home for girls. They're not on the Overland payroll. They work for the saloon. And they're causing nothing but trouble already. Now, I want Nell to pack up that crew of hers and get out. We've got to dig a tunnel through that mountain by the first of the month. You can't expect men to drive tunnel if they can't dance and drink once in a while. They can dance all night Saturday, and they can drink all day Sunday if they want to. But they better be back on the job at 6 o'clock Monday morning. They don't have to be back. They'll be here. Instead of driving all the way into town, we've got everything for them right on the job. I thought you'd be happy. I'm real happy. Now, don't you give me any trouble. I want that saloon out of here, and I want those girls out of here. Oh, Jumbo, I didn't think you'd let me down. 
We've worked together and we've fought together. And there were times when we almost died together. I thought I could trust you. Oh, you can trust me, Kelly. I wouldn't do nothing to hurt you. You're hurting me right now. I won't try to explain about the mail subsidy. But this tunnel is a rush job. If we don't get it through by the first of the month, the Great Western will move in and I'll take a beating. Ain't nobody can beat you, Kelly. Not with me backing you. Then the saloon goes. It does not. You heard me, Nell. Now, don't be too hasty, Mr. Kelly. If the saloon goes, I go. And that's exactly what I want. And if I go, Jumbo goes. Isn't that right, honey? Well, I don't know. I've seen you kissing him. Oh, that was just one little kiss. Got lots more of them back in town. You want to come and collect them? Well, I don't know. I promised Kelly I'd drive tunnel for him, but if... But if, if I ask you not to... All right, you win. But you get this straight, Jumbo. We're working two 12-hour shifts, day and night. And if I catch anybody in that tent when they're supposed to be in the heading, I'll break them in half. And that includes you. You won't have to. I'll do it myself. Come on, you're walking, boss. Spread out two gangs and start driving tunnel. Sledge, you and Lefty work days. Mike, Delaney, go night. Shorty and the Dutchman. Work days. All right, let's go. Now, come on, move up. Uh, move up the I'll bring up the gear. Oh, let's hey, go on. you got to get it out today. Okay. Hold up to freeze water. Yeah. You warm up after you start driving tunnel. Watch out for that load, Jumbo! Kelly, get down! Oh, my God! What's going on here? Get out! What's the matter with you? What's the matter? You going loco? That dynamite, why didn't it explode? Why should it explode? That stuff freezes at 40 degrees and it's colder than that right now. Come on, let's go pick it up. You pick it up, not me. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is your first time around with dynamite, huh? Well, you'll find out a lot more about it after you cook up a batch. Cook it? Sure, put it in a tub and thaw it out. Thaw it out? Dynamite? That's right, over a fire. You get it nice and warm so it'll kick off real heavy. Kelly, I don't think I want to know that much about dynamite. <laughs> You're going to learn, Flip. You're going to learn. Now, come on. Stop being so fidgety. Well, come on, give me a hand. Oh, take more than that. Come on, get a handful of that. Job done. It's going to be a year here making life work uh, out of it. Pull your drill. That's it. Don't cut no deeper. You heard the man. We're shooting light. This stuff won't take heavy shooting. Half loads of dynamite will do fine. Powder monkey, bring up the powder. You going to shoot? Who else? Caps and shark fuses. On the side of the track, Flip. Make it fast. How's it going? Oh, hello. Real good. Wanted to stay that way? Well, it's been more than a week since you and me had a dance. What you been doing with yourself at night? Sleeping. When I get done with this rat race, I just have one thing in mind. Sleep. Jumbo's been looking at one of the girls. I don't like that. Well, why tell me? Well, because you're forgetting our deal. You were supposed to keep him jealous. Look, now, give me a break. If I don't finish this tunnel by the first of the month, I'm going to lose... Oh, Roland will lose the mail subsidy. And if I lose Jumbo, that's what's going to happen. All right, I'll dance. 
It may be 10 or 11 or midnight when I get through, but I'll dance. It makes me jumpy every time I see you biting one of those dynamite caps. If a man isn't careful, he could lose a filling that way. <laughs> idea? Mm-hmm. We blow the dam, that'll sure stop Kelly. Yeah? Yeah. Stream used to go underground under the falls. They had to put in the dam in order to tunnel down there. I wouldn't miss this for anything. I come through this tunnel, I want to be driving the stage. <laughs> Which reminds me, over oh, the size of this squirrel hole, we'll have to slick up the old Concord with bacon grease to squeeze her through here. Yeah, she's a tight fit, all right. But I've got just one aim right now to get a coach through this mountain. Once I get the franchise locked up and the mail subsidy set, we can come back anytime we want and open her up. Sure. Once you get a hole through the mountain, Indian squads can kick her open with moccasins on. Come on, let's take a look. Yeah, come on. Come on, Cliff. <coughs> Oh, no, no. That's far enough, Flip. But I want to see. Well, you're not getting paid for that. Paid for what? Getting yourself blasted to pieces. He's checking for misfires. Sometimes a hole doesn't fire, at least not right away. How long does it take? Well, that's hard to tell, Flip. They're as fickle as a woman. Sometimes she waits until the blaster is bending right over her. That's why it's not safe to go into the heading until he gives the all clear. What are we doing here? Three minutes walk to be poured into Kelly's lab. <laughs> <laughs> we better get out of here. There's gonna be a lot of angry men up here in a little while. Ah, hey! Oh! All clear! You can come out now, Flip. Dust and powder smoke. <coughs> Get used to it. Every hard rock man learns how to eat it. May not put hair on your chest, but it will sure fuzz up your throat good. 
What are you trying to say? <coughs> Water? <coughs> Water? Yeah. Water coming in. Jump out. That stream up on the ridge. I thought I told you. I know what you told me to do, and I did it. I put in a diversion dam. I put it in fast, and I put it in good, too. We had it finished three days before you ever got here. <coughs> we better get out of here or else get a life raft. Come on, out! Water up there above. Yeah. Can't figure out where it's coming from. Yeah. Where's it coming out? What about this water, Jumbo? I thought we were working dry rock. Not anymore. We can't work at all until we bring in some pumps. How long will that take? Kelly, how long will it take to bring pumps and equipment in from Sacramento? Too long. And there won't be any pumps. Are you loco? We can't work that head and then water up to our neck. You wouldn't have to work your water up to your necks if you diverted that stream like I told you to. Now, don't you tell me I don't know how to build a dam. That's exactly what I'm telling you. All right, you told me. Now you find a way to get the water out of the tunnel. In the meantime, I need a drink. You're all on holiday, and the drinks are on me. Check me if I'm wrong. But did you hear an explosion inside that tunnel? Hear one? I was sitting in the middle of one. Oh, I don't mean that. I mean why we were in the heading. Yeah. Come to think of it, it did sound sort of like an explosion. Why? Well, I don't know, but we're going to find out. Get a couple of saddles on some horses and get them over here right away. Yo. I should never have trusted that big, overgrown ape. I wanted that stream dammed off so the water would run off the ridge permanently. Can you check it? The dam was holding when we started to drive tunnel. Well, it's not holding now. Look at it. That water's running right down into the pool, and the pool is a funnel right into the heading. Whoa, wait a minute. What's the matter? Somebody ought to tell Matt Pete that not many horses in this country wear bar shoes. What do you mean? One of the horses from the Great Western Way Station was here not too long ago. But a little right, and I can catch up to him. No, no, never mind. He'll keep. Let's go up and take a look at that jam, or at least what's left of it. Come on. some pack saddles in the corral. Get them on the horses. I'll send the men. Yo. Take your gang, get down to the corral. Load the pack horses with tools and get up on the ridge. Oh, what for? Matt Peak blew the diversion dam. Matt Peak do that smooth talk and runt. It was a bad day when you taught him to shoot powder. I told you, Kelly. I said, this man is no good. But you wouldn't listen to me. Oh, no. All right, I was wrong. Now I want work, not words. Take your men and get down to that corral. The rest of you stand by to go back into the heading. Into the heading? Look, now, look. The men are right, Kelly. Let them have their fun, and we'll start working tomorrow. Give me the other part. You start work right now! Kelly. How about a little? All right, men, vamoose. You heard the man. You and me were supposed to dance tonight, Kelly. The only dancing I'll do will be on Jumbo's ribs. Now, that won't build your tunnel. Hey, no news. And unless you stop that, you'll never get it built. Now, remember, Kelly, a deal's a deal, and we were supposed to dance tonight. Lady. I'll dance with you every night if you can get this gang back to work. Okay, Ed. Everybody dance. <laughs> How do you 
he liked it. I turned my back on him, and he tries to steal my girl. All right, now you had your dance. Thanks. Like you said, a deal is a deal. That does it, men. All right, now, not another drink and not another dance till you put in a night's work. All right, let's have the bottle, Jumbo. Come on, it's time for work. Not for me, it isn't. I've seen what you did. You were dancing and flirting with Kelly. And you were making up to one of the girls. All right, get out of here, all of you. And you girls, back to your tent. I'll pay double wages to every man who works up on that ridge. And if we finish the tunnel by the first of the month, I'll pay double wages to every man who finishes driving. Is that fair enough? Hey, yeah. Yeah. But what do you say? When you take the men up on the ridge, with a little driving, you can pitch that dam in eight hours. I don't like what you've done. Are you squawking about double wages? I'm not talking about that. You're trying to take my woman away from me. Stop acting like a kid. We were just... Well, we were... We were just dancing. Well, keep dancing. I ain't working. Is that the way it is? That's the way it is. All right, you big ape. Stand there and sulk. I got a better heading, boss. Ha! Me! Here, here, and there. Now give me full holes on the reliever split. Don't drive them short, or they won't move the rock. You understand? I think so. I hope so. Oh, you're learning fast, Cliff. Don't get discouraged. I don't know anybody who knows more about Indians, the Great Plains, and stage coaches. But this is a new business. It takes time. Now, here's your crew. Start driving steel. I'll be up on the ridge. You can't drive no bottom holes in this cool water. Uh, that's not the brightest observation of the century. You're going to shoot without bottom holes? When we get ready to shoot, there won't be any water. I know, but if we don't have your troubles, he's the walking the boss. All right, boys, that'll do it. We'll have a dry tunnel by morning. I'm dry right now. How about a drink? Yeah. yeah. How about that? I want two men up here with guns. In an hour, I'll send two men up to relieve you. For everyone else's drinks on the house. Yeah. Come on, Wilson. You take the first shift. All right. Have one for me, boys. Hey. I'm going to do that. that damn lick. Only until we blow it up again. You don't get a chance. You'll have a guard up there 24 hours a day. They're coming out.
Time off near the shack. I'm going to take a look at those holes. Why? Don't ask questions. Just do as you're told. Meet you inside the heading. Yeah. I got what we need. What's that? Every one of those cut holes and relievers have been driven too deep. We're going to bottom load them. What do you mean? Somebody made a mistake and drilled six foot holes. We packed the bottoms with dynamite, tamp them real good. The more they put in the regular load. So twice as much powder as they figure on blows up, huh? Right. And that figures to move a lot more rock than they expect. Sort of a surprise party. We need a box of dynamite. Let's get it. <laughs> Got it. All of them? Two sticks to every hole. Ought to do something. You got them all, Tams? Yeah, but I don't know why. Jumbo's no fool, and neither's Kelly. They'll check these holes. We don't want them finding a little surprise. Come on. Now, why don't you stop acting like a baby? Kelly can't drive that tunnel alone. He's going to drive it without me. I thought he was your friend. Well, he was. Till he tried to steal my woman. And you were helping him. Only because you were playing with the girls. You know I'm stuck on you now. Why do you make me jealous? Oh, I don't know. It's kind of fun. Now, honey, don't you think you ought to go back in the head and... No, no. When I'm hurt, I stay hurt. I wouldn't go in there if that tunnel fell down on his head. That's the way I feel about it. Well, I'd better get you a drink. Never mind those bottom holes. This water will be seeping in here for a couple of days. We'll take out the bench first. Fire in the hole! Well, you don't learn very fast. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, you said fire in the hole. Well, that means get going. Well, what about you? I'll be along. Go ahead. Go on. I told you to get out of here. I just want to make sure you're coming with me. Ah, uh, don't worry, I'm shooting light. What'll happen when that stuff comes bouncing past here? It won't. A light load will just drop a few yards of rock in front of the heading. I don't want to open up the seams while that rock is still full of water. Now get going. <laughs> Kelly's not coming out. Shooting too heavy, he'll bring the roof right down on his head. I wouldn't go in there if the tunnel fell on his head. That's what Jumbo said, and it happened. Kelly, he's under that. Now, don't you even say that. Don't you even think it. He's probably trapped on the other side. Well, don't you stand there. Get fixed and shallow. We're going through. Kelly! Don't worry, Kelly. Still more get shallow.
coming down adrift, Jumbo. If we don't use some timber, the roof's gonna come with it. Timber? We haven't got time for that. If there's water in the drift, it's caught and Kelly against the tunnel roof. I'll dig through to it. No, you stay out of there, Flip. That roof might come down any second. That's a chance I'll have to take. Not with Kelly's life. It'll take a hard rock man to get in there the best. And that's me. Oh, no, Jumbo, don't, please. You want the man to die? I don't want you to. Oh. All right, come here. Give me your hat. Stay out of this, Mel. You know you don't belong in here. Kelly, can you hear me? Kelly! Jumbo! What are you stalling for? It's wet in here! You call yourself a blaster, eh? When did you ever learn to shoot deep holes? I wasn't shooting heavy! It took a lot of body to bring that rope down. It's too bad it didn't land on your thick head. You pig ape! I forgot more about powder than you'll ever learn! <laughs> Is that why you're in there? All right, Jumbo. Have your fun. When I get out of here, I'll break you in half. Oh, you better not. If you do, I'll tell now. She'll take care of you. Jumbo, the roof's going to cave in. Get out of there while you can. I wanted you to have a good bath. It's been years since you had the last one. Very funny. Come Get on. Get me out of here. All right, I got him. Pull it up. You're both going to come out. Nothing deeper. But oh no, you gotta drill them deep and shoot them heavy. Don't give me that. I checked every hole before it was loaded. They were all short holes. Not one of them deeper than that. They were deeper, Kelly. I wanted to do a good job. I thought you wanted them deep. They're all six feet or close to it. And you didn't test them? I checked every hole before it was loaded. I tell you that. Wait a minute. Did any of you see Matt Peake here last night? Oh, I don't know if it was him, but I see two riders when I come out of the saloon last night. Matt and Red. That's where we're headed, Flip. All right, why am I paying these men double wages? Get this tunnel cleaned out. Start moving rock. If you're not back in that heading by noon, I'll fire the whole gang of you. Come on, Flip. <laughs> So there's a hard rock, man. Well, come on, you Abe. There's the rock. We got a drive tunnel. <laughs> was a private fight. Yeah, I guess it was. Wells is the nearest town. Ride in there and get the sheriff. Tell him I got a couple of customers for him. I'll keep them company while you're gone. Oh, and while you're there, send a telegram to the home office. Tell him the snow water cutoff will be in operation by the first of the month. The mail subsidy is assured. Oh, tell him I'd like some company officials to be there at the first run. Kelly, it's done. Right. Gentlemen, I want you to meet the little lady who has the honor of being the first passenger to ride through this tunnel. Miss Nitro Nell. A 
Now it's all aboard for Salt Lake in a big celebration. Friend of mine's getting married. Yes, sir. No more carousing around for him. Drinking and gambling and running around with girls. No, sir. He's getting married. And you're all invited. Oh, won't it be wonderful to have a lot of people at our wedding, Jumbo? Our wedding? 